welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing some crock pot meals today because you know why? Because it is Crocktober. I had to throw in a whole crock pot video in the middle of October. It, I mean, it was only right. Now, these are some of our favorite crock pot meals and in my opinion, they're pretty bomb.com. So, if you try these, I hope you love them and I'm not going to talk your heads off today. Yeah, I'm not going to talk your heads off today. So, let's get right to it. Roll the clip! Let's make some cheeseburger potato soup in the crock pot. The first thing we are going to do for this cheeseburger soup is brown up our hamburger meat. Let's get all the veggies ready and done. Woo! This onion is strong. Lord have mercy. There's our diced onion. Well, I'm going to peel and dice my potatoes. Can't even talk. If I wash before, I peel them. I end up having to wash them after anyways because I've like forgot dirt. So I just wait until they're diced and then I wash them. And you're going to need like four regular sized potatoes, but a couple of mine are small, so I'm using six irregular sized potatoes. It calls for diced carrots. But Kylan hates carrots. So, I'm going to shred these up very, 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 very fine. So, he won't see it. By the way, this is how I, if you didn't know... <laughs> I find it easier to just scrape the carrot like this. I don't peel away the carrot this way and it's easier. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do to this since I'm gonna shred them up with a shredder. I'm gonna add my diced onion, my washed diced potatoes, and I'm going to I'm shredding my carrots. And I forgot to show you this earlier while chopping it. I don't know why. A half a cup of chopped celery. Three cups of chicken broth. I use three cups of water and chicken bouillon powder. About a teaspoon of parsley. The same amount of basil. You're cooked and drained hamburger meat. <laughs> Two cups of milk. Three tablespoons of butter. A tablespoon of salt. And a couple pinches of pepper. Now this is all we're going to do for now. We're going to cook this on high for three hours and then after three hours we'll come back add 16 ounces of the cheese and some flour to thicken it up if it needs it love you that looks good looks good without the cheese now we're going to put in 16 ounces of Velveeta or you can do two cups of cheddar but this is really good alrighty 
I put my cheese in. We're gonna let this cook for another hour and a half, stirring it up as the cheese melts. And I will decide at the end if I wanna put in flour or not. We'll see how thick it is. And she's done. I'm not putting any flour in this because the potato starch made it come thick, so we'll take it. I'm serving this with some garlic knots. Boom. Okay, boo boo. It's like cheeseburger. With potatoes. <laughs> Sounds good? Yeah. All right, besties. Let's make a crock pot meal. This is chicken and veggies, and it's bomb.com. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add two chicken breasts because two chicken breasts feed us. Put as much chicken as you want. Two whole chicken breasts is perfect amount for my family. Then I'm dumping some half red potatoes in here. Washed. Fun fact, Colin's favorite veggie is green beans. You can use any, absolutely any veggie you want. It's a super simple. But Colin loves veggies, so I'm going hard on the green. Colin loves veggies. Colin loves green beans, so I'm going hard on the green beans. And it was cheaper to buy two small packs than one big pack. Generous with the olive oil. Olive oil is the best. It gives so much flavor. Seasonings is totally up to you. I'm going to be using the Rodeo Ranch that I got at Wally World. Use absolutely whatever you have in your kitchen. If you just want salt and pepper, just use salt and pepper. It's up to you. Seasoning is up to the person that is consuming the food. And I'm being very generous. I'm going to add some pepper. Some salt. Extra salt for them potatoes. And that's it. This is like the absolute easiest crock pot meal you could ever make. I'm going to cook this on high for four hours and then we're done. And she's done. I stirred it around a little bit as we went, but she is done. Smells a divine. Here it is all plated up and looking gorgeous and tasty and it smells bomb. I top it with a little bit of salt and pepper. There we go. Oh my sweetheart. Pretty buzzing. Let's give dinner a go. Let's give dinner a go. I can't talk today. How about you? Mmm. Put some good potatoes. How about the chicken and the green beans? How do we feel about it? Mm. So good. Thanks. We're going to make chicken fajitas today. You're going to need, I have four trimmed chicken breasts. A frozen pack of peppers and onion blend. You can use fresh. It's just easier like this. Fajita seasoning mix, flour tortillas, and any kind of white queso. I swear, I swear my crock pot is clean. That just won't come off. It's it's like it's a part of it. It's who it is now. Start with my chicken breast, put them in there. Get the fajita seasoning and pour on top. I think Taco Bell's is the best because it's kind of creamy. All we're going to do for this, I'm going to cook it on low for eight hours. And after, I'll show you what I do with the cheese. I get a little fancy. 
She's done and she's extra juicy. I'm gonna drain some of this liquid off. Drain some of that liquid off and I'm gonna shred another chicken. All right, there she is. After I drained some of that liquid off and I stirred up that chicken, it shredded really easy. I heated up my white queso cheese and I'm just gonna pour it on top. That way it's less mess. It all ain't melted all the way. You see that, but it's okay. It'll melt up. It'll melt up better. Oh, wow. That's a lot of cheese, bro. It's a lot of cheese. Cheese is good though. Anyways, I'm gonna put the lid on this, make sure all that cheese is warm, and then it's it's done. The reason I like to pour the cheese on it in the crock pot is because it's less mess. It ensures everybody gets a good amount of cheese. And it just looks prettier. <laughs> And there she is, all plated up, all cheesy looking gorgeous. Hey besties, I'm the taste test for today. The children are busy and they don't feel like being on camera today, so they don't have to be, so it's me. That is delicious. Let's make some creamy lasagna soup. You're going to need everything you see here plus a few seasonings and I'm going to show you along the way. The first thing we have to do is cook up this hamburger meat. I threw my hamburger meat in here and I'm chopping her up real good. I put two dollops of minced garlic. And we're just going to cook this up real good. And I'm going to start chopping my onion. Body needs The onion had a bad spot. I had to cut it out. That's why you see that big chunk. I'm not wasting it. It was, it was gross. I want to finally dice this onion as best I can. Um, if you want to use a fresh bell pepper, you can. If you want to leave it out, you can. But I'm going to use the frozen ones that I have left over from our camping trip. I want to use it up so it doesn't go to waste. I know a lot of people don't like to do crock pot meals if they have to pre-cook something like hamburger meat. But if you have a pressure canner and you can your own hamburger meat, it helps save that step. I would have used some of my hamburger meat that I have pressure canned, but I had this hamburger meat left over from the camping trip and it was starting to thaw out. So I was like, I need to use that up. So that's what I'm doing here. I have added that cooked drained hamburger meat that we just made. I'm gonna be adding four cups of beef broth. I made mine with beef bouillon powder. There we go. That onion we diced. The pepper strips I said that I have left over. And I'm gonna be adding two thirds of this box of tomato sauce. You can use crushed tomatoes if you prefer, but we prefer tomato sauce. I use 28 ounces of tomato sauce pretty much. I'm, I found this in my cabinet. I'm using this spaghetti sauce mix. If you don't have this or you don't want to buy it, you can just add two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and you are good. Ricotta cheese is what makes it super, super creamy. I'm going to be adding about eight ounces of ricotta cheese. You see we have mozzarella cheese. I'm not putting it in this. We're gonna use this as topping over top of the soup. I'm gonna cook this on high for about two and a half hours. And then I'm gonna add in the oven ready lasagna noodles. She's been going for two and a half hours. Now I wanna drop in the lasagna noodles. 
It smells pretty delicious. It smells like a local pizza restaurant that we have here, and it, and it smells good. Just break them up, throw them in. many noodles you want in it we like noodles so i'll put a whole box now i'm gonna let this go for another hour and we should be good she's done let's look at it Woo! look at that it looks so stinking good i wish there was smell of vision because this smells pretty awesome now, let's put it in a bowl and cover it with some cheese. Ooh, ain't she gorgeous? Just look at it. Would you look at it? Just look at it. It's so pretty. Remember, salt to taste. Because I was afraid to put a lot of salt in it because I use the beef bouillon powder and it's kind of salty. So, salt to taste. Hello, beautiful. Give that lasagna soup a go. Cheese. That's very good. Did you have very a lot good. of cheese in your mouth or something? <laughs> okay, cutie. Tell us how it is. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> is it good? <laughs> yeah. Um, they're they're all pretty bussin', as Bray says. I'm sorry. That was so lame. So lame. If you try any of those recipes, I hope you love them and make them your own. The second one with the chicken and veggies. If you don't like green beans, use carrots, asparagus, squash. Use whatever you want and you can use any seasonings you want. Just throw a bunch of stuff in there and you're good. Dump it. Go. I know the first and the last one wasn't dump and go, but the two middle ones, they are dump and go recipes and their perfection. All right. I love you guys. Remember, as always, be positive, be kind, be happy, and I'll see you next video. I love you. Peace out, homies. Hi, it's me, Margaret. I know I said goodbye already, but I forgot to tell you guys. I have a new Facebook page. Um, I'll leave the link down below. You can go like it. That would be cool. Um, I'll share, like, more things behind the scenes or, or, like, little fun dinners that are quick. I just, you know, things like that. Also, if you are not a member of my Facebook group, I'll leave the link down below. It is, com I can't even talk y'all. It's a community of lots of folk who love cooking and saving money. And they're all really awesome and kind. And there is no minis in there. Minis, not allowed. And, and also, um, I'm actually starting to use my Instagram, y'all. I'm remembering. Go me. I'll leave that link down there, too. Okay, guys. Anyways, I love you.